Happy fall to my ballistic blood brothers and sisters in arms. Today is the last day of this series of really cool interesting pieces that are going across the podium at Pool and Auctions in Fairfield. And that's not because we ran out of cool stuff. It's because the auction starts the day after tomorrow. And i got to get back to work down there. And we're finishing things off with an absolutely beautiful 1944 dated original C&R MG34 German machine gun. MG34 was designed by Mauser uh, per order of the Waffenart and that was back at the time where German over engineering was very typical and quality definitely had the priority over quantity. It could definitely be placed in the category of functional artwork. This thing is absolutely beautiful. They were made from 109 different pieces that were machined from solid bar stock. This was that period where German quality and tolerance were, was front and center. That was the most important, and that wouldn't last forever. Eventually, it would be like most other countries where the priority would be placed on quick and inexpensive. And it was a very effective gun. Before World War II would end, there would be over 500,000 MG34s manufactured by five different firms. It utilized an extremely intricate trigger system, but the beauty of it is that it was also extremely simple to operate. It's a select fire gun, meaning it can fire semi-auto as well as full auto when that's desired. And there wasn't even a switch necessary to do that. You simply depress the top part of the trigger to fire in semi-auto. And when you squeeze the bottom of the trigger, that ran full auto. And semi-auto for aimed fire was utilized. It has a 21 inch sight radius and sight set up from 200 meters to 2,000 meters. It's a pretty capable firearm. And with that bipod that's attached to the barrel shroud, it was a simple gun for one man to operate. You didn't need several men to utilize one of these. Just one person can operate one just fine. But when you and I think of the German MG34, we're not thinking of slow uh, aimed fire. We're thinking more along the lines of something like this. Now this particular piece is going to be going to its forever home in just a couple days, or starting that journey anyway, and uh, I'm really, really thankful that we had the opportunity to look at this, uh, not only look at it, but get a little bit of live fire, and how cool is that? It's, a, it's really a gorgeous gun, there are a lot of matching numbers on it, it has all kinds of correct stampings and waffen amps on it, and factory codes the way it's supposed to be, and this particular one was actually on display at the Evergreen uh, Aviation and Space Museum for some time. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at a really nice original German MG34 and I hope that you've enjoyed this series. I think this is the fifth video uh, of, of really interesting firearms, accessories and even vehicles that are, that are running through this auction. I'm already excited to see what's going to be coming across the podium for the next auction so we can start all over again. If you did, please click like Share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already, both on YouTube and on Rumble. Check out the really nice merch, the t-shirts that they're printing for us down at Bunker Branding. The uh, link will be in the description below the video. And uh, keep your eyes open for what's next. Who knows what that's going to be. But I did hear a rumor there may be a flamethrower coming up soon. 
Anyway, till next time, have fun and be safe.